Howdy everyone. Welcome to This Old Vegan. My name is Merlene Vassell and in this video I'd like you to play a quiz game along with me and see how well you can identify which Halloween treats are vegan. If you'd like to keep score, grab something to write on. I'm going to go through 11 products and you will have a few seconds after I name each one to determine whether you believe that the item is vegan or not. I'll give you the answer after each item, so you may want to pause the video in case you would like extra time to think about it. At the very end, I'll let you know whether you're a potato, a cabbage, or a banana based on your score. Okay, here we go. The first product is Biscoff Cookies. I first had this cinnamon treat when I was taking a plane ride many, many moons ago. So what do you think? Are Biscoff cookies vegan or not? They are vegan. I got them as part of a vegan meal. Item number two is Brock's Classic Candy Corn. Candy corn is a traditional Halloween treat, but is it vegan? Well, despite being called corn, there's nothing vegan about it. <laughs> there are three items in this product that are not vegan. The first is shellac. Shellac is made from secretions of the female lac bug. So that's definitely not vegan. This brand of candy corn also contains gelatin. Gelatin is a protein that's derived from collagen and is collected by boiling the bones, skin, and other parts of animals. Brock's candy corn also contains honey. Honey is partially digested plant nectar that bees regurgitate. The next item is Goldenberg's peanut chews. These can be found sometimes at grocery stores and also sometimes at movie theaters. But are they vegan? Yes, they are vegan. Nature's Bakery Fig Cookies. These are not a traditional Halloween treat, but you might want to give each of your trick-or-treaters a packet of these fig cookies. Are they vegan? Yes, they are. Now and later candies. When I was a kid, I used to love these chewy treats that would stick to my teeth. So I wolfed them down as a kid but are they vegan? Yes, they are. Next, Nutter Butter Peanut Butter Sandwich Cookies. Nutter Butter Peanut Butter Sandwich Cookies. The name is a lot of fun to say, but is that where the joy ends? No, they are vegan. Number seven, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Peanutty treat, but are they vegan? No, their ingredients include skim milk, milk fat, and lactose. Number eight, Snyder's of Hanover Halloween pretzels. They're not sweet, but they could be considered a treat. Are they vegan? And the answer is yes, these pretzels are vegan. Number nine, sun-made natural California raisins. This seems like a no-brainer, but we have been fooled before. So think about it. Are these raisins vegan? Yes, they are. So if you can find some small individually wrapped packages, you can give those away as trick-or-treat treats. Okay, along the same line, sun-sweet individually wrapped prunes, otherwise known as ones. What about these? Are they vegan? Yes, they are vegan. And finally, number 11, York dark chocolate covered peppermint patties. We've all had them, or probably most of us have had them, but are they vegan? Peppermint patties, are they vegan? Unfortunately, no. They contain milk fat, egg whites, and milk. So no, they are not vegan. 
So here are my takeaways. Read labels to check the ingredients, even if you think the product is probably vegan. The second takeaway is to reread labels often because sometimes the manufacturers change the ingredients on you. And finally, sometimes the label will indicate that the item is manufactured in a facility that also uses milk or eggs or some other um, non-vegan product. In these instances, there's a possibility of cross-contamination. So you'll have to decide whether or not you'll accept vegan products or otherwise vegan products that are manufactured in a facility that is not vegan. Along the same lines, you should be aware that refined sugar is often processed using bone char. So although the bone is not in the finished sugar product, it is used in the processing process. <laughs> so you'll have to think about whether or not you will accept um, refined sugar. There are other better choices like raw sugar, which actually has more nutrients anyway. Now let's see how you did. If you got up to four correct, then you are at the potato level. If you got five to seven correct, then you have climbed to the three cabbage level. If you got eight to 11 correct, then you have ascended to the five banana level. Please let me know how you did in the comments and whether anything surprised you. Have a safe and happy Halloween. Take care.